Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create multi-group drill down report in SSRS with group totals and grand total. So there is a lot to learn in this report. So pause the video and take a look on the bullet points and all those things we are going to learn in this video. What I have done, I have created the report already. So I can show you before we jump in and start creating the report. So what we want to do, multi drill down, first of all, that part I want to explain to you. Here I have Asia region and if I will uh, hit this uh, positive sign or uh, a plus sign, it is going to expand. And then uh, I have countries uh, in the Asia. So I have India and Pakistan. So once I will uh, expand this part, I can see the detail. And uh, here you can see that uh, I'm taking uh, the total by country. So on the item sold, I'm summing that up uh, and uh, sold price. Uh, I'm also taking the sum of them. So I'm taking the total by country. Then we have uh, the total by region as well. So for each of the uh, region, uh, we have a total. And then when we click on here for each of the country, we have the total. So to see the details, we have to expand this part. So on each of the country, we have to click and that's where we are creating multi group. So there are two groups. So one is the region and the second one is the country. So that's how we have multi group drill down report. At the end, I have taken the grand total. So that is consisting of uh, entire records. So let's go ahead and create this uh, report. So as you can see, there are things we need. We need a region. We need country, first name, last name, product name, item sold and sold price. Let me go to the SSMS and show you the query I'm using. So this is the query I'm using. And this query is coming from the one table. In your case, it might be coming from multiple tables. No big deal, as long as you get the data that need to be used in the report. So it is coming from the sales database. Let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. And now the project is already open. We do not need to open a new one. And here is sales database. This is shared data source. And we are using a the sales database in this uh, shared data source uh, and is pointing to my SQL server. Hit OK. Now go to reports. Uh, let's create add a new report. Uh, go to new item and here we are creating empty report. Uh, let's call this one uh, multi group drill down. Add. Now empty report is created. Uh, the very first thing we need to do, we need to create a reference to the data source or we need to create embedded data source. Right click here, add a data source. And here we are going to use the shared data source. So use the shared data source reference and sales is the data source that we are going to use. Hit OK. After that, I always make this mistake. So it's called data source one. That's not a nice name. Double click and change this one. So when somebody open your report, it doesn't look good. We should say DSL at least. That will make more sense to people where it is pointing to if you have multiple data sources and then you will just leave data source one. Nobody would know that. Okay, this data source is pointing to the shared or it is embedded. So keep pretty much the same. In this case, let's say DS sales will be very close name and we would know that right away. Oh, okay. DS sales is pointing to sales, shared data source. Now click on the data set, add data set. And here we, we are going to use the embedded data set in this report. Select the data source and provide the query here. So let's paste the query. Now we have all those columns what we needed. Hit OK. And here we need to insert the table. Right click, insert and select table. Select all those columns. Just leave the grouping columns. We don't need them right here. We will use them later. So first name, last name, product name and uh, sold item sold and sold price. So these are all the columns we need. So click here. Once you see the forehead arrow, bring it, uh, drag it to the wherever you want it. And now we can click here and then um, make this one bold and change the background color for these uh, header columns. Looks good. 
we preview the report so it is the tabular simple report there is one extra column we don't need that we can go ahead and delete that so right click here and delete the column next uh, we need to group them so first of all uh, let's uh, add the group uh, region so with there are multiple ways uh, to do that but today we are going to do from uh, row groups uh, here so i'm going to click on the detail say add group and call the parent group so this is my parent group i'm going to use a region and add a group header that will make it a kind of step the report and we'll see that so hit okay now if we go back here we'll take a look we have asia it is a group and we see the details but if you remember we need to put a country in the group as well so we have region and in the region there are multiple countries we have it or even single but we need to add that now here we'll go to the region and then click here and say add group and here we will be using a child group so we clicked on the region group and that's why we are adding a child group now here we will be selecting our where is that group by okay so we did not select the country name in our data set that's that's no big deal we can go back and add that so double click on data set also change this data set name to the total sale because that was not a good name and here we need to add country we have the country column refresh the field hit ok now we should have the country as well so country is there now let's go back to the region group and then say add and child group here we will be using a country so let's use the country and add group header yes now we have created the group this is really good now let's go ahead and add the totals for the groups and grand totals and everything and then we will make it drill down so if you go back here this part is called detail so all these are detail and this is our child group and this is our uh, parent group so this is how it is if i will take the sum of these details this is going to give me the sum for the country group so that that will work fine for me so i'm going to go ahead right click here and say add total so this total will be for a country then we can click here and they say okay add total so this part what we are adding the detail this is on country level so this, we can call this one total by country we are good here let's expand a little bit so we can see that and click here and change the color so we can be more visible to us and also make more sense okay now we have we are done here see now we have total by country so 2 plus 5 is 7 and 9 900 plus 1500 is 24 so that's given us correct value for pakistan we have different values and for europe and france we have different so this is how we are adding by country but we want to have the sum by region as well so let's go back here now if i will take the sum on top of that uh, country sum it will give me the sum on the region so in this case i'm not going to click on the detail i'm going to click on the uh, sum that i already have taken for the country so i'm, I'm going to add that again say add total so now this is going to become for region so this is going to be become for region as well so total sold price fine let me expand this a little bit so you can see these are the formulas and here this will be called total by region and uh, we can change the color of this uh, column actually the entire row with multiple columns so click here and now we can go ahead and use the color here maybe this one fine and uh, one last thing is left if uh, this is giving me the sum for the region and if i will take the sum of these one again it is going to be grand total so let's do this one before we go to the drill down so right click here and then say add total and then right click here on the last one and also say add total so now this is our this one see this one we need to remove this is not uh, the correct uh, heading for that so total or call it grand total and select this part 
change the color so it's more visible and then uh, bold if we want to change the font color we can go ahead and do it now it's looking good now our report is ready we have a uh, groups uh, by uh, by a region by country and then we have a uh, total subtotal by countries uh, we have subtotal by region uh, and then finally we have grand total so this uh, looks really good now the final part we need to add uh, the drill down so let me show you what we want to do here we want to hide uh, the details so if you take a look here i want to hide these uh, details and uh, I want to have add a plus sign next to the country. So when somebody uh, hit that plus sign on country, I want to show these uh, detail. Otherwise, I want to hide it. So we are playing with two things here: the detail and the country child group. So this is what we are going to use here. So now let's go back here on the detail. Click on the detail because we want to hide the detail and depending on the country value. So here we are going to say group properties and then go to visibility that property will be used when a report is initially run we want to hide we want to hide the detail okay and we want to toggle it we want to show that value when somebody click on a country so we are going to select a country here and hit okay this is done pretty easy so now you see that here we have a country and then when we hit plus sign it is toggling so we can see that it is a uh, drill down for country now but the less uh, last part is left uh, is uh, uh, we need to create drill down for the region part as well so when region should not be this expanded uh, it should be also with the plus sign uh, and uh, when somebody click on the uh, region then uh, countries should uh, show uh, show up now let's go back to design and here if you guys remember we are playing with the country and region so I'm gonna go in this case I'm gonna click on the country and that's where I'm going to go to the group properties and go to visibility and say hide. So I'm, I want to hide the countries and want to toggle it when somebody click on the region. So this is very important and it's very easy. It took me a while to figure out all these things. But I always start with the lower details and hide them with the next one and then keep hiding all the way up. So you can do it. Go preview. Now you see that region we have uh, drill down here once we click on asia then we see the countries here and then we have uh, we can see expand the countries and take a look on that so we have created a multi group uh, drill down uh, report uh, with subtotal and uh, with the grand totals and all that so let's go to north america here we have usa and uh, we have only uh, usa in this uh, region and uh, these are the details uh, for that uh, uh, country. So thanks very much for watching this video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.